Now let's go for second molecule that is L alanine. The structure is NH2 HCOOH CH3. Let's find out the configuration 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it goes clockwise. So has to be S configuration. L because the when you write the vertical chain, the nitrogen NH2 group is on the left hand side and it is a dextrorotatory compound. So, the retro synthesis of this will go like HCOOH NH2 CH3 which is we can convert it from ACNH HCOOH and CH3. That means, this is converted from the acetylated derivative. This is N acetyl alanine, which in turn can be written as like this. This is then envisaged from this group uh, which in turn is prepared from two amino two deoxy D glucose. If you look at the structure, this is the six member ring of D glucose where one and two this position is NH2 instead of OH and therefore, this is called as 2 deoxy. There is no oxygen here and second position we have a amino. So, the name is 2 amino 2 deoxy D glucose. This is a amino sugar. So, we prepared al pre prepare alanine from 2 amino 2 deoxy D glucose uh, which is a amino sugar. Now, we will go for synthesis. As we said, we will start from the compound 2 amino 2 deoxy D glucose. This is the ring formula what we have written, which can also be written as in the open chain formula as CHO NH2. If we have practiced the ring form and the open chain then you will understand how to do it. This D amino sugar on treatment with acetic anhydride in presence of methanol will protect the amino group. So, NHAC OH, OH, OH and OH. This is treated with ETSH H plus. We have learned that the thioethanol can protect the open chain structure. So, we will get the protected open chain structure which will be which can be written as SET. So, the carbonyl group will get reacted with this and in this way we protect our sugar in a open chain formula. This is reduced with the Rani nickel in presence of hydrogen. So, where the C S E T this group gets replaced by hydrogen. So, in short, we will get C H3 there, other group remaining same like this. As seen in the S propane diol. Here also we can use PBOAC4 where the breaking will be there in diols 
it will of course break here also but anyways we it is not important for us so we'll be concentrating on the upper part which will give us ch3 nh ac and cho we all know that bromine water is a mild oxidizing agent which will reduce cho into coh so we will get ch3 nh ac coh and h if you look at the configuration of this it will be 1 2 3 and 4 so 1 2 3 hand goes clockwise 4 being on this so it is r s configuration we want it s configuration the same thing can be written in the form which is required by not changing the configuration so if i rotate this it is going to give me cooh ch3 h and nh ac let's again confirm reconfirm our configuration which has to be s only 1 2 3 4 so this is the way when you convert any one structure into another it's better to confirm its configuration again 1 2 Three hand glows clockwise. So we have not changed any configuration. We have just rotated the structure. S remains S. This on hydrolysis will give you the COOH H N H two. The protection acetal protection will go. Of course, this is in presence of H plus and CH three. This is L plus alanine. You all should know that. all the amino acids generally don't present in this form because nh2 you know being basic and cooh being acidic there is a intramolecular proton transfer so we get nh3 plus h coo minus and ch3 which is also known as zwitter ion so actually the l alanine present in the zwitter ion in fact all the amino acid are present Uh, in the form of zwitter ion so this is the way they ask you they give you the whole synthesis now as i said earlier also that three types of questions will be asked one is either they will ask retro synthesis or they will ask the complete synthesis or sometimes they may pick up one two three four steps or any of these steps and then they'll give you one of the starting compound like this and give the reagent ask you the product or give the product ask you the reagent and you have to complete the full series till whatever the point they have given suppose they have given from here to here so you should write down up to this either the reagent or the product will be asked so these are the only three ways of asking the question in chiron approach so that's it for l alanine thanks